Michael Franken was a vice admiral in the U.S. Navy. Now he's a Democratic candidate for the U.S. Senate in Iowa. Earlier in our conversation, he said Republicans should have spoken out more strongly against the violence. We have a, a series, a, 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 a large cast of Republican leadership that should, should have said those remarks years ago, a year ago. And, and many of them stood silent, and shame on them for that. So why are they staying silent? Is it purely for political reasons? I believe the, the threat of a billion dollar fund behind uh, Donald Trump uh, threatens them, yes. I also believe that the, 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 the darkness that is in some voters in this country uh, fears that they fear the, the, the ballot box. And that's why they're attempting to change the, the voting procedures throughout the nation so that they can script who it is that votes for them. Many of the rioters from that awful day, Michael, still to this day believe the election was stolen. What does that say about the polarization and division in this country, not just the lies? Let's begin with that. <laughs> Well, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do to heal. And, and we, we need to remember the things that our parents told us about uh, you are who you, who you surround yourself with and your friendships and the like. Unfortunately, we have a president that closely resembles, or former president that closely resembles Putin or others. He's developing a kleptocracy and he wants to further that and he wanted to maintain control so he could uh, further himself. Uh, it is a problem, and, and what we see in Iowa and other states is a voting base that uh, consistently votes against their best, issue, uh, best wishes and their, their future of their children. Uh, that's, the, that's the job of me as a candidate and others to reverse. We want people to vote what's best for them, what's best for the country, and what's best for their children. Michael, is this country safer today from right-wing extremism from a year ago and what are the lessons learned here yes we are safer mostly because their leader is now uh closely watched and ensconced in his own in his own mendacity in in florida his statement uh, this morning was laughable and most people on social media wondered wondered why it was even being printed uh, so, and I think the authorities, certainly in the U.S. military, are keeping an eye on such matters. I believe our police forces have doubled down on on what it is they should be watching for, for these uh, right, right, uh, radical right movements, and uh, and I believe we are safer. But we, but it hasn't healed what this country needs to do, uh, and 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 this will only take time, and hopefully, uh, a a voting electorate which which can find a brighter light.